what's here we go so um hi everyone my name is luisa um i work in germany i'm independent as an architect I work at the intersection of m365 power platform and azure um i've been awarded as an mvp in two categories uh i'm a princess still a punk at heart and an open sorceress um if you want to read my blogs or connect with me please feel free to do so happy to um hear from all of you so um, please be kind. This is still an SPFX newbie. So this is my second web part. So um, please be kind. Um, I want to preface this with something. So I love samples. And this is really important to me. So I'm not only just like consumer of all the great samples that we have uh, in the sample gallery, but also um, I'm a contributor. And I thought when it comes to list formatting, the process that most users need to do if they want to leverage those, that is still a little bit tedious because first they need to find the gallery and then they need to maybe find the sample that is applicable to their column type, like choice, or text, or number, or boolean, or whatever that is. And then they need to find the right file and copy the code. And then they need to go back to their library. And once they're in the library, then they can paste the code. So I was like, okay, that is a lot of back and forth. And for me, that is super energy draining. So what if we made that easier? And what if we could just like choose from all the cool samples that we have in the fabulous GitHub repository and then could just like apply those directly to a column of our choosing with an SPFX web part. The problem with that is there was no web part, so I needed to build this myself. So <laughs> here we go with that. So it's um, demo time. So um, here is my web part. It is already using some parts that I previously, previously um, used. Uh, what do I have? I want to apply column formatting. So obviously, I need a site selector. I will select my site um, tech. Now it just like pulls from all the uh, lists and libraries that I have on that site. And I will select my um, list process. And in my list process, there are a few columns, one of them being the column pink, which indicates, and I will show you this in the list, if a value is pink or not. And right now you can see that this is a Boolean column. and neither is the demo uh, column or the quantity column. So this is just like out of the box. So we do not really want this. What the web part does is it uh, populates a nice gallery over here with all the column, um, with all the samples uh, from the list formatting um, repository that are applicable to this column type Boolean. I can also select, yes, I want to have the generic samples as well, those which could potentially uh, fit to any kind of column, um, but I choose to not do this because going the safe route for this um, demo would be nicer. So what I do is I choose maybe this sample here. I will open this. It will open a model for me. And I have two options in this model, apart from obviously reading the description, uh, paying some attention, who are the gorgeous contributors, and previewing uh, the sample. I can open that on GitHub, which will open the link, obviously, to this uh, particular sample. Or I can apply this sample now directly to the column that I chose in my um, list selector and column selector. So I will apply this. It asks me directly for feedback. Let's check first if that did work. So I will refresh this over here, and we can see that the um, pink column is now nicely formatted. Let's um, go back again in here and record some feedback. So this is um, absolutely awesome, I would say, if I can check that correctly, and submit some feedback here as well. And obviously, the feedback then is recorded in my list formatting feedback list. And I can see, yes, this was a yes, no column. And it will also show me uh, what is the rating and who recorded this. Let's dig into some code now to see how this works. So I did a little code tour for you. So I am a big fan of separating all the components in very, very small child components. That makes it super easy for me to not have to scroll through endless lists of code. 
that's easier for me. So uh, we will start with the um, site selector. Um, next uh, would be, um, I like to use a lot of hooks because that makes it again easier to, um, to separate uh, the concerns. And uh, so I will select the sites in here. Next up would be the list selector, which will then, of course, use another hook. I call it use the fetch lists hook to um, get the lists of the particular sites that we already chose. I excluded a lot of titles, so the built-in list that I do not need and do not want to format. Maybe there is a nicer way to do this, so please hit me up if you know that. Um, then the column uh, selector does pretty much the same, just with the fields. And of course, it uses another hook, uh, which I call the use fetch um, columns. And now I use the use fetch column um, type hook. So that gives me the column type, uh, because I need to determine is that um, a text uh, field? Is this a number field? Is this Boolean? Is this choice? What is that? Um, next up would be um, over here that um, I need to display the gallery. And obviously, this is a little bit longer. And I need to I uh, needed to deal with pagination. And so this took honestly, that one was the one that um, took the most uh, brain power out of me um, because there were just like so many samples. And the many samples needed, obviously, time to be rendered. So um, I implemented pagination so that this worked uh, just like a little a bit more faster. Um, next thing is that we display the samples in the gallery with the title and the description and the metadata and the picture of the author because uh, always give credits where credit is due because I did not do all these samples. These come from just like all the gorgeous contributors in our community. And then the apply button obviously calls a hook again and that hook is the use apply column formatting hook to apply the column format um, to the uh, selected um, column of our choosing. And this really gets complicated. And at some point, I couldn't use uh, PNPJS anymore because I didn't just like know how to do that. So please hit me up again if you know on how to do that. Um, because I believe sharing is caring. So maybe uh, we can turn this into a group effort. And last but not least, um, I save my feedback and feedback is just like saved again um, to a SharePoint list. And that's about it. And if you now get confused on, wow, these were just like a lot of files. Yes, these are a lot of files, but um, I made this easier for you to understand. So let me share my presentation again, if it wants to. It doesn't. Here we go. So uh, what I used, obviously, SPFX Toolkit, just so that Adam doesn't get sad. And uh, yeah, so this is React and uh, PNPJS for most of the SharePoint's uh, data fetching and OctoKit to get the data from uh, GitHub. So that made it really, really easy to deal with the samples. And to give you a little overview, so this is a mermaid uh, chart that I implemented. So we start um, with the uh, web part, and then we have the site selector, list selector, column selector, and the column and the display of the column type. And all of those have their um, respective hooks. And then in the sample gallery, we have the modal, and the modal has the apply button, which has its own hook. And obviously the sample preview, so that's just like the core of uh, what we want to see. And um, it has the um, uh, use fetch column formatting hook, um, the pagination, uh, the use model, and the use sample selection so that we know which sample we need to apply. And with that, I would say um, thank you and see you next time. The PR is on the way. I blocked about it with a lot of uh, code snippets already. Please let me know what you think. And thank you again. Mm -hmm.